Hello, hello, hello. Elder Biggs here. I've got a few scriptures for you. I'd just like to say a few things before we get started. I'm going to speak in English and not in the, the Queen's English. Uh, I'm just answering to a few people that always say that God never said anything. Jesus never said anything about homosexuality. Well, yes, he did. He said a lot about it. It's just that a lot of people that say those things haven't studied their Bible. So let's give them a few scriptures to study by or to look up, and then they'll give them a reference. First, let's go to uh, John 8.58. Then Jesus said, most assuredly, before Abraham was, I am. And that's an interesting reference. You wonder, where have you heard it before? Well, you've heard it before when Moses said to God, and he was on the mountain getting the Ten Commandments, Moses uh, said, indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, the God of your fathers sent, has sent me to you, and then say to them, what is his name? What shall I say to them? Verse 14, and God said, Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent you to me, has sent me to you. So this is God saying it to Moses. I'm on the mountain and I am who I am. And Jesus is saying, I am who I am. See, when you refer to the Bible and Bible scripture, that's why it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Aramaic. It explains it in a way where you only see the capital letters for God, for he and for him and for I am explaining the Godhead, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. You don't use that anywhere else, but it is always displayed in that language to give you the, also the understanding that that is what it means. When it referring to those three names, the Godhead, the God is three personalities, God, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That's who he is. So Jesus, when he said, before Abraham was, I am. And God said to tell the children of Israel, I am. That was the same person. In other words, Jesus was the incarnate, not to be confused with reincarnation, incarnate, meaning that he was here walking around on the planet before he was birthed through Mary as a child. I know a lot of you don't understand that. Well, see, that's the spiritual part of God. He's not limited to our way of living, our way of thinking. Yes, that was God that did that. And I give you another reference, right? We go to John 1, right? John says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. Right? So this is Jesus Christ that everything was made through. So when Moses was on the mountain and he was getting the Ten Commandments, it was Jesus that was giving it to him. How do we know this also? Let's give you one more scripture. Let's give you one more scripture to kind of give you a reference to what I'm saying because, you know, we don't want you to be in the dark about this. Let's go to Exodus 24, 9 and 10 in the New King James Version on the mountain. Then Moses went up, also Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the other elders of Israel. They're all going up to talk to God, all right? And they saw God of Israel, and there was under his feet, if it were paved work of sapphire stone, and it was like the very heavens in its clarity. Let me say that again. Then Moses went up also, Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel. Verse 10. And they saw the God of Israel. And there was under his feet as it were a paved work of sapphire stone. And it was like the very heavens in its clarity. They saw God standing on a stone. Wait a minute. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in his spirit and in truth. And God is more than that one man can be standing on a stone. So they saw Jesus incarnate in the form of a body, standing on an emerald paved stone, getting ready to talk to them, giving Moses and them the Ten Commandments. That's who they saw. 
So now, Jesus not only said something about homosexuality, he gave them the scriptures talking about homosexuality. Now, let's get something clear here about homosexuality. Homosexuality is no different than adultery, fornication, lying, thieving, murdering, stealing. All those are the same to God. It is the acts of a person. That God is looking at, not the actual person. God loves every single human being. The way you are born into this world, right? Abused by someone else into this world, that is not your responsibility. It is your responsibility not to allow yourself to live out this life. Someone said, Well, I, I can't help for living the way I am. Yeah, I know. Adulterers have to stop chasing women. Have to stop getting having sex with somebody else's wife. Thieves have to stop stealing. Murderers have to stop killing. The Bible says, Jesus said, if you will be my disciple, you must deny yourself daily. Your natural self, who you naturally are. Give up your natural self and follow after me. And with your natural self, who you naturally are, what you naturally like to do, would be, want to do, enjoy doing. You must deny that. And come after Jesus because he has a way to help you to live a life without living in your sin. Now, keep it clear. You're going to have those attitudes around you because you are in that flesh body for the rest of your life. And until you get out of that flesh body, you're going to have those attitudes. But Jesus died to come into you, to live in you, to help you to discard that, to live above that. So you don't have to give into that sin constantly, daily. That's why Jesus said, if you keep your mind stayed on me, I will keep you in perfect peace. So now you can't do this by yourself. Ain't no 12 step program going to help you out of this. Only God through the father. Through Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost, only that is going to help you go past that, help you with that. So back to the subject. Yes, Jesus said a lot about homosexuality and adultery and fornication and thieving and lying. They're all the same to him. You are responsible for your actions, not how you're born into this world. So keep it straight. Those scriptures again. Genesis 3, right? Genesis 3, verses 4, 5. I'm sorry, Genesis 1, verses 3, 4, and 5. Sorry. Exodus 24, 9, and 10. John 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. John verses 1, 2, 3, 1. First John verses 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5. Okay, John 8, 58. Use those scriptures as references. Study your Bible. Stop making assertions and assumptions. That will get you into hell. I want to see you in heaven. So does Jesus Christ. Love you. Bye.